Nigeria's former finance minister and former managing director of the World Bank, Unkozi Okonjo-Wele, has been speaking on her plans for the World Trade Organization if she gets the job as the leader of the WTO. She held a press conference on Wednesday and told newsmen that if she is elected director general of the WTO, she would ensure that the United States remains in the fold of the global trade body. And asked how she hopes to cope with the role of trade negotiations, she said her experience in the financial world would come in handy in the new role. We need an institution that can promote a rules-based system. Remember the trade wars, I would say to him, of the past? We don't want that. We want peace and security and stability. That is why the WTO is needed, with its ability to arbitrate disputes within members. So don't leave now. Let's try to fix what needs fixing. And if we didn't have the WTO, we would have to invent it. That's what I'd say to him. The bilateral tensions between the US and China, in my view, should be resolved in the WTO. The WTO should be seen as part of the solution, not part of the problem. And also, we have to keep in mind that since we all believe in the multilateral system, and I believe that the US does, believe in the multilateral system, as well as China, then we also have to keep in mind that bilateral tensions uh, do not only have bilateral effects. And bilateral solutions would have ramifications for others as well. Joining us now live is Bolaho Lujede, an economist. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, let's just uh, quickly ask, are you excited about our presentation? Uh, quite interesting, yes. Um, it was more or less like, uh, you, know, you know, the campaign promises that you have uh, uh, on a like, typical uh, political situation. So she was making a pitch as to why she's the best candidate for the, for the role. And I think she has all it takes. Okay, and of course, uh, we do know that she has a wealth of experience. She's referenced that in her short uh, remarks. You know, would you also say that you agree that the experience that she has is enough for that position? I of, of all the candidates that are there, um, she's probably one of the, uh, uh, someone who understands the Africa side of things the most. We've not had an African leader of the trade. Um, we also have not had a, a, a woman in that role as well. So um, she brings to the table an understanding of Africa. Um, and, and she also brings to the table that international, you know, someone who has dealt with the international parties that are involved from across the world. Essentially, what trade is about negotiation. You know, and we are in a part of the world where we have no, the, the bargaining powers are very, uh, the bargaining power is very low. So, Okonjo will bring to bear our understanding of the African terrain and help us with that bargaining power part of things to ensure that we have a fair uh, uh, um, uh, presentation when we are talking at the, at, at the global level of the World Trade Organization. Okay, and, and how much of a plus is this for, for Nigeria, you know, uh, for today? Is, is this something that the whole country should be praying, you know, should happen? And, of course, is this also, you know, a, a, good, you know, a good, good thing for, for our image as a country? It's, it's very good for us uh, having a prominent citizen on a global level, being at that global level. And it will be a whole lot for, for us as well, because finally we get somebody... Also, don't forget that our role is not, WTO is global, so it's not really a Nigerian role. But at the same time, it, it will portray us in a very, very bright on that, on that plan. We should all wish our, well. I'm not sure we have a lot of influence beyond seeing her through to nomination, which she is right now. So whatever she needs in terms of lobbying, because it will involve all member countries of the organization. So whatever support they need in terms of lobbying um, is what we now need to provide for her to ensure that she can win at the end of the day. 
Okay, I'm looking forward to her, her victory and uh, we'll see how it goes. But what would be one major thing that you would expect that she should, you know, be able to achieve um, while in that position? Uh, there, there are a lot of challenges um, in, in that space right now. As countries are going more, um, should I call it nationalism, there's nationalism taking over our country. And when you look at the remit of the World Trade Organization, it's, it's more of trying to get everybody more involved. So I think her core deliverable at this point in time would be to get back into, onto that platform where we want to do business with one another across the world. Uh, we have all seen what is going on with uh, China and, uh, and America. China and America alone, the implication for the world trade was, was huge. And it is something that could trigger uh, things that will even affect Nigeria, for example. If there is going to be reduced trade between America and China, it may affect how much oil China is going to buy, for example. So at a time when nationalism is great, uh, Pocondo will have a part of the core delivery to get in there and ensure that we can do more trade ourselves rather than everybody withdrawing uh, into their shell.